here is your chemistry 12 answer key for equilibrium constant calculations. So KEQ equals the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. And therefore, when we have to write the expression for the KEQ constant, it's going to be KEQ right here is going to equal the concentration of the products, which is going to be AB. Now there's a coefficient of 2 in front, so it's going to be AB squared divided by the concentration of the reactants. Since there's no coefficient, or in other words, a coefficient of 1 in front, it just leaves it as A2 E2. And that is what is called our expression. Now to calculate the KEQ, the actual value of it, we're going to plug in these numbers. So KEQ, now AB is 0 0.67. squared over 3.45 times 5.67. Plug that into my calculator. KEQ equals 0.67 squared divided by 3.45 divided by 5.67. There's no units for KEQ, so it's 0 0.023. Okay, uh, next question. It says, uh, given, the key, uh, given the equilibrium here at 50 degrees Celsius, this is useless information. It's just telling you that the temperature is not changing, and therefore you can calculate a KEQ accurately. Uh, so KEQ will only be changed by temperature. So if the temperature does change, then the value of KEQ will be changed. So uh, let's write the equilibrium constant expression. So again, KEQ is products which happens to be x, y, 3, and that's, since there's a coefficient of 2 in front, it gets squared. x2 times y2, and the y2 is cubed. Calculate the value for this. Well, x, y is... 0 0.090, and that's squared. x2 is 0 0.37, and y2 is 0 0.53, and that's cubed. Into the calculator, and I get 0 0.09 squared. divided by 0.37 I get 0 0.147 or in other words 1.5 if we're considering sig figs Okay, a little smaller font. Found that by adding one and a half moles of C into a one liter container at equilibrium, um, established, established in which uh, 0.3 moles of B are found. So, um, this one's a little bit different, but uh, I'm going to draw a big table.
end uh, where I have gas, 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 so everything is going to go in there. So I'm going to write my ice table. And it's found that adding one and a half moles of C. Now, here's the interesting thing is that you don't have to start with reactants. You can start with products. Since it's one and a half moles in a one liter container, the molarity is one and a half molarity. And it is implied that we start with zero B and zero A. After an equilibrium is established at equilibrium, there is 0 0.3 moles in that one container, one liter container. So 0 0.30 molarity right there. So to go from zero to this number, it had to increase by 0 0.30. Since this is a one to one ratio right here between A and B, this also had to increase by 0 0.3. Now, this one had to decrease, but since it's a 2 to 1 ratio, this one decreased by 0 0.6 molarity. Just because it says 2C there. So if you remember back when we were drawing this stuff, if this was B, B increases by X and C C would decrease by uh, 2X and that's why it's 0 0.6 minus just like that so my table's filled in. I can now write my KEQ expression. Or I guess we should answer this. What is the concentration of A? 0 0.9, 0 0.3. Oops. Uh, this one's 0 0.9. And this one's 0 0.3. My KEQ expression is going to be C squared because of the two coefficient in front over A and B. Or in other words, calculate the KEQ, which is this one down here. KEQ equals 0 0.90 squared over 0 0.30 times 0 0.30. So if I plug that into my calculator, it would be 0 0.9 squared divided by 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.3 equals KEQ equals 9. Okay, uh, question number four. Uh, here's our equation, 0 0.87 moles of AB3 are injected into a 5 liter container at 25 degrees Celsius. Again, the 25 degrees Celsius is just saying that an equilibrium is established and the temperature is not changing, so we can do a KEQ calculation. But other than that, that number you do not use for any calculation. At equilibrium, the final uh, A2 is found to be 0 0.07 uh, moles. So we're going to make a table. So 2AB3 makes A2 plus 3B2. Now, um, we're in a 5 liter container, so we have to do a little bit of math. So it's going to be 0.87 divided by 5. So we're going to start with initially 0 0.174. Now how did I get 0 0.174? I went 0 0.87 divided by a 5 liter container. And that means it implies that, that we start with 0A and 0B. Now at equilibrium the final concentration of A2 is 0 0.07 molarity. Now it gives it to me molarity, so I do not have to divide by 5. Okay, 
if it gave in to me in moles, I would have to divide by 5, but it gives it to me in molarity. So uh, A2 had to increase by a factor of 0 0.070 molarity. This one increased by three times the amount. Because it's a one to three ratio right here. And so this one's going to be 0 0.210 uh, molarity. Now this one decreased by twice the amount that A did, uh, increased. So this one decreased by 0 0.14. Zero molarity. And so 0 0.034 molarity right there. And so uh, we are we are kind of done. Calculate the equilibrium concentration of AB3, um, and that is going to be 0 0.034 molarity. A2 is going to be 0 0.070 molarity, and B2 that's going to be 0 0.210 molarity. Okay. And that is my final concentration of all that stuff right there. Uh, this next question says, in an equilibrium mixture, the following concentrations were found. Uh, calculate the value of the equilibrium constant, or uh, that's a fancy way of saying KEQ for this reaction. Okay, so it's already at equilibrium. So KEQ equals the concentration of the products. A little better parentheses. Concentration of the products, which happens to be C, over the constant uh, over the concentration of reactants is A and B. In other words, KEQ equals 0 0.3 divided by A, 0 0.45, and 0 0.63. Throw it on my calculator. 0 0.3 divided by 0.45 divided by 0 0.63, 1 1.058. Uh, if I am interested in sig figs, it should be two sig figs. Technically, it should be 1.1, because it's two sig figs everywhere. Now here's a key point. It says at the same temperature. If it's the same temperature, that means it has the same KEQ. So if it says the same temperature, that means we know KEQ is going to equal 1.058, or you can write 1.12. And it is analyzed that B equals uh, 0.21 molarity and C equals 0.7. So we're going to plug that into our KEQ expression. So now we're going to write our full KEQ expression, and that's going to be KEQ is 1.058. I'll just do 1.058 to just make the numbers a little bit more accurate, but I guess I should be using 1.1. And then I'm going to be doing uh, the concentration of C, which is uh, 0 0.7. The concentrate divided by the concentration of A which we do not know. So I'm just going to be writing A and the concentration of B, which is 0 0.21. And then I'm just going to be doing some math to solve this. So I'm going to be timesing both sides by 0 0.21. So uh, 1.058 times 0 0.21. 
and then it's 0 0.2 to 218, and that equals 0 0.70 over A. Now, to isolate A, I'm going to times both sides by A and then divide both sides by 0.22218, or in other words, you can just be switching these two things right there. So concentration of A equals 0 0.7 over 0 0.22218, and that'll be the concentration of A. So 0 0.7 divided by 0 0.22218. So the concentration of A three point uh, one five. It says, in another equilibrium at the same temperature, so a continuation of the previous question, so that means KEQ equals that 1.1 or 1.058 number. It is found that A is 0.35 and C is 0.86. From this and the above information, calculate B now. So again, KEQ equals concentration of C over concentration of A over concentration of B, or in other words, 1.058 equals concentration of C, 0 0.86 over 0 0.35, and then uh, we need to find what B is. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 0.35. So 1.058 times 0 0.35, 0 0.3703. And that's going to be 0 0.86 over B. Uh, find out solve for B. It's going to be 0 0.86 over 0 0.3703 to so 0.86 divided by 0 0.3703 and that's 2.3 2 2.32 molarity Technically, this should be two sig figs, so 2.3 molarity. And that's our answer.